What's going on everybody? Mike McIntyre here back from All Things Sports bringing you a brand new video. I have another boot review for you today. It's been a while, but I'm super pumped about these ones. Limited edition Adidas Predator Mania remake from 2002. They took a while to become available on Adidas' website and then they sold out instantly and I was really, really lucky that I think someone may have returned these. So they had my size left and there was only one pair and I grabbed them right away. There's only 2,000 of these in the world. Let's unbox them and show you what they're all about. All right guys, before we get started, you know the drill. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification. You have three things that you need to take care of. Really helps the channel out. I appreciate you doing that. And let's get into this brand new review. All right guys, so Mike McIntyre, All Things Sports, brand new limited edition Adidas box right here. Adidas Predator. This is the Predator Mania, one of the most popular, if not the most popular Predator of all time. We'll show you what's inside it. We're going to unbox it, review it, and try it on feet. So you get the old school Adidas box, the red lid with the black box. You take the lid off and you do get a couple of extras with these because they are the soft ground version. So you get a black string bag with red strings, white predator branding. It's that mesh material, really nice string bag. You also get extra studs. Because these are soft ground, and I'll show you the studs in a second, they do give you plastic conical studs, so you can swap out the metal studs and use these on firm ground. So you get shorter plastic studs right here. And um, in North America, we don't have, or at least in Canada, we don't have that many premium soft natural grass surfaces because they're just too difficult to maintain. So we have a lot of field turf. So for me, I'll never wear these on... <laughs> on soft ground. If I ever play on a grass field, I'll swap them out, but I've never had metal studs in my life because we always play on turf. So you can see that those studs, they're absolutely massive and uh, they would hurt, let me tell you, but it's really cool to have that soft ground stud pattern. But anyways, here's the shoes, let's get them out. And boot number two, and you can see attached to this one that you get the tool to unscrew the metal studs And I'll show you how that works later on, but there you go. There are the two boots So these dropped a couple months ago and for whatever reason as I mentioned it did take a while to get them online at adidas.ca and then they sold out instantly and for whatever reason there was one pair left a few days ago and it happened to be my size So I grabbed them because I wanted to bring them in for review so the Predator Mania has a really cool history. These dropped in 2002. This particular limited edition was marketed around Zidane's goal in the Champions League where he hit that left footed volley and it curled into the top left hand corner. He was wearing this colorway with metal studs which is part of the reason why they released the soft ground version of them. And they marketed it around the 20 years since that debut and since that goal. The remake is really, really good if I'm honest too. You've got a one-to-one -one upper with premium kangaroo leather tongue, leather in the forefoot, you got that same rubber grippy element. They carry the three stripes underneath the sole plate. And because the modern control frame is actually two pieces, you get a more realistic version of what the actual Mania was back in 2002. So you have the two piece um, heel piece and the four foot piece here. I really like that they put the control frame on it. A modern sole plate on this boot really revamps it and it makes it so gameable in 2022 that I'm really, really impressed. The upper of this boot is still very thin for everything that's on it, made out of kangaroo leather for all the rubber elements that you get in these little pass pad elements here. The upper is so thin and so wearable for today's standards. You just need to throw on a modern sole plate and this very heavy boot from 2002 is somehow more compact, more streamlined, lighter, and fits just as well. So you get that premium kangaroo offering, classic Predator fit, but very, very modern in sense of feel thanks to the sole plate. So I'm really, really impressed with it. I love the cut of the Predator. I've always been a fan of the way the heel liner wraps around my foot. I like the way the heel's designed around that Achilles tendon, and it's just such a cool looking Predator. Now in terms of the manias, I was nine years old when these came out, and they were the first Predator that I'd ever seen and, and knew what it was. At that point, at nine years old, I only just started getting into football boots. So I kind of, I've seen this boot, but I never knew what it was. 
and then I had learned that it's the Adidas Predator, and by the time I was willing to go grab them, they just released the Predator Pulse. So I would have been about 10 or 11 years old by the time I got my first Predator, and they just revamped this model for the next gen Predator Pulse. So the Predator Pulse was my first Predator ever, and I've had every single model since. This is the one that sort of got away in many ways. I wanted this one, but by the time I was ready to actually get them and fit into them, which was another key part, um, they had gone and released the Predator Pulse. Let's head on to the on feet portion and then we'll wrap the video up. So guys, slipping the Predator Manias on feet. The first thing I noticed is I've kept the metal studs on and given that they're so long and aggressive, you do notice the little bit of stud pressure standing on turf, obviously, because of how long and how aggressive they are. Assuming you swap those out to the plastic firm ground versions, I think they'll feel a little bit more familiar to most people because they probably wear a firm ground stud pattern. But other than that, the upper is incredible. I really like the leather feel. It's probably not the most premium kangaroo offering that I've ever seen, if I'm honest, but it's very, very good. It's super soft, still of excellent quality. They did have to stitch in that rubber element on the forefoot and big toe area. And then of course you have those three kind of memory pads on the instep where you'd normally pass a ball, which was a feature on the original Mania as well. I'm amazed at the fact that you could just throw on a modern sole plate and it completely revamps the feel of this boot. The classic Predators did feel heavy, they did feel a little bit bulky, and it was just a very solid boot at the time. Nowadays, you can see how the upper is aged really, really well, and it's extremely light thanks to the new control frame. So it's very gameable. If you want to wear these, you're not going to be losing anything in terms of, you know, weight or feeling on the ball because of older technology. It really is. It's aged extremely well in terms of the upper. You still get a kangaroo leather upper, and the sole plate just brings it into 2022, and it fits very, very well. I don't think you'll be able to find these anymore, but if you do want a pair for yourself and you're looking on eBay or whatever, go true to size. It's an Adidas boot. They've nailed the sizing. They're always good with their sizing, so go true to size. They'll fit you perfectly, and that is pretty much it for the video. So let's head over to the desk so we can wrap the video up. So there you have it, guys. Classic Adidas Predator Mania. For me, it was the model that got away. I'm super happy that I was able to review this boot for you. It's really cool to see it in a soft ground stud pattern, if I'm honest, even though it's probably not as wearable as a standard firm ground version, but given the history, given the classic you know, feel and everything that goes on with this Predator Mania, it's a 10 out of 10. They absolutely nailed this release, and if you're lucky enough to grab a pair, you know, it's, it's a really cool piece of history. So Mike McIntyre, All Things Sports, thank you guys for stopping by as always. Please let me know what you guys think down below in the comments section. As always, hit the like button. It really helps the video out. Subscribe button, bell notification. I'm Mike McIntyre, signing off from All Things Sports. I'll catch you in the next one. Till then, take care. Peace.